Hi, I'm Kay. And I'm Ken. And, and we, we are, are Life, Life Abroad. Abroad. Today we're going to show you some fundamentals of Japanese cooking and teach you how to make shogayaki or ginger pork. And、uh, Kay will be preparing and I will be cooking. So let's, let's get, get started. started. Okay, so I want to explain a little bit about the basics of Japanese cooking. So, these ingredients here are going to make up the bulk of your seasonings while you, when you make any kind of Japanese food.、Um, if you're from a Western country, you may be used to using lots of herbs and spices when you cook, but in, Jap in Japan, they don't do that as much. So, let's take a look at what we've got here. So, the first one is shoyu soy sauce. This is, by and large, the most popular kind of seasoning for. Any kind of cooking that you do. You will use this more than any of the others that are that are displayed here. The next one is mirin or mirin, and this is a kind of sweetened rice wine. It's used in a lot of dishes, but not as much as soy sauce. And the third one is cooking sake. This one is the smallest because this is the one that uses the least when you, whenever you use it in cooking.、Um, There are some recipes that use all three together. There are some recipes that use just these two.、Um, this one will probably be the least used,、um, but these two get used fairly frequently. The next one you have is fresh ginger. It usually comes in bags that look like this. So these are often used all together in very many recipes. So if you buy these and keep these in your pantry,、um, it'll be a lot easier for you to cook a lot of Japanese food. Before we get started, you're going to need a few tools for this recipe. So, first, you're going to need some kind of grater for the ginger, whether it's a grater like this with holes and sharp bumps that you can buy at any grocery store or 100 yen shop, or you can use a microplane, either will do. You need a tablespoon, a measuring cup, a bowl for the ginger sauce, a knife, and a cutting board. Here are the ingredients that you're going to need for this recipe. The first thing you need is Pork. I've got about 240 grams of pork roast here.、Uh, it's pre sliced. You can use any kind of pork that you like as long as it's sliced thin, or you can slice and tenderize your own. I would say that any amount up to about 300 grams would be appropriate for this recipe. You're also going to need fresh ginger.、Um, you can also use pre ground ginger that comes in a tube. I think it's by SB, but fresh ginger tastes best. So if you can, maybe try to use fresh ginger. And then you need some soy sauce or shoyu. Any kind will do.、Um, this is just plain, regular soy sauce. Some kind of cooking oil with a high smoke point.、Um, we're going to be cooking this pork pretty quickly in a high heat, so I would not recommend olive oil or anything else that's going to smoke up your kitchen.、Uh, this is canola oil. You can use any kind of vegetable oil that you'd like. And then you'll also need some mirin, or meeting in Japanese.、Um, for, so these two are for the sauce. And then for the salad that goes with this dish,、uh, you'll need some cabbage. You can buy these quarter cuts of cabbage at your grocery store, so it's really convenient if you're, especially if you live by yourself and you can't eat a whole head of cabbage. And you're also going to need a cucumber and some cherry tomatoes.、Um, but you can also feel free to substitute these vegetables for anything that you like. Okay, so for shogayaki, it's usually accompanied by rice. So, we're, the recipe that we're making today is for two people. So, I'm going to go ahead and make one cup of rice for two people. Alright, so I'm going to cut the cabbage. And the way of cut is called sengiri. Or shredding in English. Okay, so now we're going to make the ginger sauce. So I cut about a third, a little over a third of the original piece of ginger. Maybe it's about a third.、Um, you don't really have to measure it, it just depends on how gingery you want your ginger pork. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a spoon and just peel off the real thin skin. Technically, you don't have to peel it if you really don't want to, but I'm not a big fan of the skin, so I tend to peel it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and grate the ginger into the bowl. Okay, and 
that's our ginger grated. Now we're going to need to put these into the bowl for the sauce. So we need a third of a cup of soy sauce. And a quarter of a cup of mirin. the ginger with and just give it a mix. Okay, so this is ready for the pork. Okay, so I've put all of our pork on the cutting board and I've just covered it in some plastic wrap. So now you just want to take um, a rolling pin or the bottom of um, a heavy cup or anything that you have that has some weight to it that's got a surface that you can pound this with um, and just just whack it. Okay, so now our pork is all nice and flat and tenderized. And you can go ahead and take that plastic wrap off. And that's done. Here is how you cook the pork. First, heat your pan to medium high heat. When the pan is hot, put in the tablespoon of oil. Then dip your pork in the sauce. If you want your pork to be saltier and more gingery, dip the pork for longer. Put the pork in the pan flat and flip when one side is done. When all the meat is cooked, you can plate with cabbage, sliced cucumber, and tomatoes. Hi, dekiyagari. So what did you think about shogaiki? If you make a shogaiki, please send us a pictures on social media. We want to see your creations. Mm. Also, please let us know in the comments what you want to see next. And you can find the entire recipe and instructions on the Life Abroad website. I'll put the link in the description box below. Also, please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon. But remember, don't just live, thrive. <laughs>